Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. The holiday craziness. Who doesn't love it? Hmm? There's not enough time in a day to do what we're supposed to do. We're stuck in traffic, can't find what we're looking for. I have to wait in line everywhere we go. It's so fun! Hmm. When we entertain, why don't we take a break by making a quick and simple appetizer? Like this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my brie en croûte. It's so uncomplicated and can be served for any occasion. With a nice double cream brie some tasty filling, all wrapped up like a gift and puff pastry, this appetizer will certainly please everyone. So my friends, let's get cooking! Here we have a nice cold double cream brie and we'll slice it in half. To make a clean job when slicing it, the wheel has to be very cold. And the knife has to be sharp with a thin blade, okay? Next, we'll spoon on about one and a half to two tablespoons of my fig balsamic jam on each half. This is such a delicious condiment. And to get the recipe, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll spread it out evenly so it covers them well. Now, we'll add some cranberries on one half and do the same with pistachios, pressing down gently to stick them on. Then we'll take the other half and place it on top of this one. Next step is to make an egg wash, which is simply an egg beaten with some milk, although you can always use water instead. Now, we'll lightly flour our work surface before placing a large sheet of puff pastry. Because the dough is sticky, we'll also flour our rolling pin. Then we'll roll it up to make it wider so we have enough to cover the cheese wheel and also decorate it. The day I was making this, we were having friends over. So you'll see all be rushing and that's why this recipe is perfect when you don't have a lot of time. So we'll use a pizza cutter and cut a circle around the wheel big enough so the dough goes up and slightly on top. We'll keep the remaining dough on the side. See, this is what I meant. It's wide enough to bring the sides up and some on top of the cheese. We'll now brush the dough with some egg wash. Then we'll bring a small portion of the puff pastry up before folding another one on top of it and going around creating a wavy pattern. Now, we'll take our wheel and place it on the remaining puff pastry and then cut a circle around it. By the way, some of our guests just arrived. Let's put more stress on me. Yeah! <laughs> we'll brush more egg wash on the outside of the dough and then place our circle on top. Again, we'll brush the top as well. Now, we can use the rest of the puff pastry to decorate. Because it's the holidays, I'm using a Christmas tree, while for Easter, I like to use a bunny. We can always use a fork or a knife to form patterns on top. Just use more imagination than me. If we add more dough on top, we'll have to brush it again. We'll place our wheel on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and transfer to a 425 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 15 minutes and then turn the boiler on for an extra 5 minutes or until the top is nice and golden. We'll serve immediately with crostini or crackers. And my friends, this is our brie en croûte. This is a crowd pleaser and also pretty quick to put together. The beauty of this is you can substitute the ingredients you like or whatever you have on hand depending on the occasion. Don't panic 
and serve your guests this delicious festive recipe. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank you.